Well, we can't go two weeks without a Doors video. That's just not fair. And um, these are two songs that were brought up on the Roadhouse Blues and um, the other Morrison Hotel stuff we did, uh, Peace Frog and Indian Sunset, or Indian Sunrise. I think Indian Sunset's Elton John, right? I can't remember. Uh, so we're doing two more tracks that were suggested uh, by some subscribers or commenters, whatever you want to call them. Um, and I love this album so far, um, I, I, almost as much as the debut, um, I don't know, LA Woman we haven't really done as much from, and there's a couple, you know, other, Saw Parade, When the Music's Over is really good too, um, but so far Morrison, Morrison Hotel has been very steady and interesting and very, just kind of like the first album was, this is their fifth studio album, so, you know, they're deep into their career, uh, and it's obviously close to the tragedy you know and um i don't know this band is really special to me uh any band that opens my mind the way that they do it it's just uh it's irreplaceable so i'm gracious for them so we're gonna be listening to waiting for the sun and the spy uh i think waiting for the sun's track two and then with the spy is track eight or track two on side two, if you want to go that way. So yeah, there's the Hard Rock Cafe, that's track one, and then side two is Morrison Hotel. And these are both written by Morrison. And uh, yeah, let's go. One of my favorite poets. And I have a whole Doors playlist right there if you want to go watch some more um, after this, obviously. Ba -ba -ba. All right, here we go. First up, Waiting for the Sun by the Doors. Three, two, one, go. Ray and Robbie combined. Now the 
that spring has come. John Densmore. He's like Ringo, man. Fits this man like love. Heavy, bro. Waiting for the sun, waiting for the sun, waiting for the sun, waiting for the sun. One more time. Yep. <laughs> Got to. That is a sick lick, dude. That was great. Automatic top five for me. That was great. Adore songs at least. The Spy. I talk so much, my mouth gets so dry. So we're in Morrison Hotel now, we're out of the cafe. I'm a spy in the house of I'm literally tripping, bro. <laughs> what the fuck, this band, dude? In the house of love, I know the dream that you're dreaming of. I know the word that you. feel like they're playing in some like dingy bar out in like Texas you know? I was pie. like in Nevada or something I can see That's why I love doing these like duo picks. 
because I love when the it works out like that and it shows like two not completely different sides of the band but two you know different variations almost of it on a theme and a style that they're going for the roadhouse blues kind of feel that's i think that should have been the name of the album not morrison hotel it should have been roadhouse blues um <laughs> that's what it feels like and especially the um i don't know the whole atmosphere that ray and robbie create it, it just really uh I don't know, man. It sinks in very quickly. Like you, you, you grasp the picture very easily with this band, what they're going for here. And, uh, they create almost like a whole sonic landscape that just, you know, shapes this image in your mind, at least for me, of this like, you know, this dingy sort of, uh, like hotel bar, everything, you know, kind of truck stop. I've seen this before when I was younger driving through, you know, like West Virginia and all those places, like, I've been a lot of places and I've seen a lot of things, even as a child I did. And uh, I don't know, there's a lot of creepy buildings out there. Let's just say that. And it reminds me of some like dingy kind of place like that. That's kind of a big, you know, building with a bunch of stuff. But then they have a band that comes and plays and everyone's in there just drinking and eating peanuts. You know, I mean, this is what I imagine for some reason, just peanut shells everywhere on the floor. <laughs> um, but and then you just have G uh, Jim out there just completely crooning and screaming i mean like good god waiting for the sun is an easy top five song of those for me now that was that was really really good that's kind of like my flavor of the doors that i like the most and when it's like jim uh just almost enough at overload you know he's almost the, too much but it, he's not you know it's like just the right amount like one comment said the other day uh when i use that phrase um i don't know man uh I'd say that I like the side of Waiting for the Sun better, which is the cafe side, uh, whatever. So they called the side one and side two. And then side two is Morrison Hotel. You could tell that there was a whole style shift almost. Like it was, uh, it, it wasn't as crowded and noisy. Um, it wasn't as intense and fast, but it, it slowly crept on you and then it would jump sort of thing. It wasn't all in your face, kind of like Waiting for the Sun was. Uh, there was a lot of, I don't know, atmosphere to it, you know, with the piano and then Robbie on the guitar. And then Jim is just sometimes I don't know what the fuck he's singing about. I'm not going to lie. Um, but for these ones, like it's kind of, you know, it's sometimes it's a love song. Sometimes it's about, you know, whatever the album's about, you know, and I don't know his poetry. It, it, it's not that it's hit or miss for me, but sometimes I have to listen to it a couple of times because I get so distracted by Ray and so distracted by Robbie and John because John's the one that really brings it all home. He accents every single, you know, especially in Waiting for the Sun, man. His snare and everything, just that's what really brought the whole entire sound together. I feel like in those sections where it's just like pumping full of energy. Um, and there, and like I said, I almost tripped out there for a second. I literally thought I, something fell from the ceiling. I felt I felt it hit my foot, but nothing fell from the ceiling. Like, am I going crazy? Uh, this band's, like, seriously, like, I've, man... If y'all have been watching for a while, you know that some weird stuff's happened on these videos. There was that one time at the hotel, I um, I was doing a band-made video, and I just the automatic light in the bathroom went off, and I looked over, just so happened to look over randomly, and I saw two pair of legs just running through the room. I swear on my father's grave, like, I'm not even kidding. They looked like, I don't know, astral projection. Like, I, literally, that's the best way I can describe it. And they're just gone. And my face turned pale as hell. It's on video too. I hopefully I don't think that's a blocked one, but it's a, it's on one of the band made videos. I'll have to go back and find it. There was that when uh <laughs> my first Beatles video, I, I bend down real quick after mentioning George and the sun peeked through the window and radiated the entire room full of light. And I, I didn't even notice until I looked back up and I was like, Whoa, what the fuck? I'm, that has never happened before. It never happened again at that residence. And I did probably like 200 videos there. Never happened again. It's crazy timing, right? Um, I don't know, man. Like uh, the doors really, they just do it for me. Like that's the bottom line, but there's also more to it. Like it, I feel like I'm learning more. I don't know about like in like my, my subconscious is like even not even my, like my waking mind. I feel like my subconscious is learning for some, I don't know. Like they really do pack their things full of lots of layers uh, and you can just come back and listen to it over and over. And that dingy atmosphere sound that they get here that they're going for uh, just fantastic. I think honestly, Robbie uh, and Ray were the stars for both of these songs, but Jim obviously is like, I don't know. 
he's the captain, uh, even though he's doing this thing, you know, uh, Jim's the captain and uh, also uh, Ray probably. But John does his thing too, man. He's a great drummer. He's just like Ringo. Like I said, he fits this band like a glove and it's perfect, man. Uh, it really is. And if you guys have any other, I don't know, suggestions, albums you think I'd like to do, like I've done the hits, it feels like. Uh, I've, a cu- I've done a couple deep cuts, but I still have plenty of songs to do that I haven't done. And I usually do read the suggestions because no one requests the doors. I just do them because I, like, I really like them. So, you know, that's just how it works out. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you later. Patreon right here. Ooh, that's a picture of it. There's a link in the description. Uh, join the $15 tier up. You get one free request a month. Uh, there's also a PayPal link as well in the description if you want to send a tip or request in that way. Thanks for watching. Waiting for the sun is going on my panda right now. Pan- my panda. <laughs> I'm sorry. My daughter's trying to break in my room. Is she going to come in? Let's see if she comes in. Are you coming? Hi, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. I'm Daddy. You want to say hi? Hi. Hello. I'll give you a fit. <gasps> when you put your clippies in. We just finished. Yeah, hi. This is a good song. Both of them were. Awesome. You're probably going to hear them tomorrow. Daddy, you me. Oh my goodness. She drew on your face. See? Ugh. I have to go. Sorry. Say bye. Bye.